I am uh, really confused about Jaden Daniels as uh, the f- new favorite in the Heisman Trophy race. Look, no, no offense, Jason, Jaden, Jaden Daniels having a terrific season, but he's just not Bo Nix, and he's not Michael Penix Jr., and he's playing for a team that has lost multiple times this season and, frankly, um, you know, lost badly in a couple of spots. I think you have to look at Michael, Michael Penix Jr. and the fact that he's got his team undefeated making all the plays. And you have to ask yourself, how many losses would Washington have if it didn't have Michael Penix Jr.? If it had just an average quarterback, wins above replacement, if it had an average quarterback, I think Washington's got multiple losses this season. I think it probably has two, three, four losses. And Bo Nix, same for Oregon. He, you know, statistically, you look at Daniels and you say, okay, more passing yards and prolific offense. And I I just go back to how many games this season that Bo Nix has left at halftime or the third quarter and not played down the stretch. Uh, Still a lot of ball to be played. But I think, uh, you know, the Penix Jr. Bo Nix conversation will be decided potentially in Las Vegas. Can one of those guys win that game and uh, does that uh, put one of them over the top as a potential Heisman Trophy candidate? If you are looking at the Heisman race and you are trying to pick a winner now, uh, I think you're doing a disservice to those who are in this race. Keep an eye on Jaden Daniels. Let's see what he does in his one more opportunity uh, at LSU. And let's see what Michael Penix Jr. does in the next two weeks. He's got a conference championship game to play in. And if Michael Penix Jr. is undefeated and sitting there at 13-0, and taking his team to the playoff, I'm going to have a really difficult time not looking over at him and going, hey, that guy should be either one or two on my Heisman ballot. And same goes for Bo Nix. If Bo Nix is the reason why Oregon gets to the college football playoff, how do you not put him at one or two on your ballot? There's a real question for Knicks and Penix versus the field as it pertains to quarterbacks in the country who have carried their teams on this journey and could carry them to the playoff. Jaden Daniels is not taking LSU to the playoff. Does winning matter? Now, frankly, I'll, I'll step back and say this. Heisman Trophy goes to who? What? The best player in America? Supposed to, in theory. But... You know, the best player in college football might be a left tackle playing at, you know, some Big Ten team or some SEC team or a defensive tackle playing somewhere in college football. Um, The truth is that the Heisman Trophy is awarded to a quarterback generally who has a prolific offensive year playing for a team that is, you know, in the top 10, top 12 in the college football playoff rankings. That's it. That's the formula. You're in play if that's you. And that's why Jaden Daniels is in play here despite losing multiple games this season. Uh, I'm looking at Bo Nix and Michael Penix Jr. a little differently. Maybe there's a little bit of a system to what to the schemes they're in. But I really do have to appreciate the fact that between those two players, you have a 21-1 and record heading to the final week of the regular season. And you have potentially those two quarterbacks being at 23-1 and as they face each other for a birth to the college football playoff. And I'm going to have a difficult time if that's the case, not including one or both on my Heisman ballot.